Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play um, Civilization Challenge, Episode 45, I believe. Um, last time we got the oil well going, there was a problem, which was a derp on my part. I built a new building, by the way, for our refineries. Um, the reason this wasn't filling is I forgot to leave a chunk loader at the other end. So there's now a chunk loader down there, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get some a couple things we're going to need here. So first of all, I need some lamps. Or is it lantern? Lantern, I think, is what it is. So we will use the lanterns from Immersive Engineering. Whoops. First of all, I have to hit that. Come on, iron. Come on, iron. Why no iron? Oh, because it was synced. I'm having some sync issues, which are actually occasionally causing it to, to bomb. So we'll need a door on here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these. Can they go on ceilings? Yes, they go on ceilings. Yay! So we're going to put them here in the middles. So that gives us lighting. Okay, next we need a door. And I think I'm going to put a factory door on this one. So, door. Factory door. Then there's the, what do they call the detectors? I never can remember. Player detectors? Player. Player sensors. One of those, please. And then, do I have any carpenter's blocks left? Two of them. Okay, let's get two of those. Build our detector strip there. Should be on their way. Should be. Come on, you can do it. I'm suddenly having sync errors, which occasionally is bombing me, which is bothering me. So I will have to sh track those down. Do, 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 do. Oop. And our door goes here. Oop. And our player sensor goes here. Oop. And then we put one of our laboratory blocks down. Okay. There we go. So step two's done. Now I need a refiner. Well, let's build a refinery next. We'll start with one. I may build more. Do, 
I should have everything. It's got to craft almost everything in here. There we go. Okay, there's our refinery. Now we need some pressure pipes. P R E S S U R E. So we need some pipes themselves. Let's go ahead and get uh, 10 of those. Then we need an in and an out. Pressurized gas. Gas. Pipe sensor, pressure outlet, pressure check, tank sensor, interface, infinite water source, tank indicator, tank controller, high pressure output, and a high pressure pump. Oh, I know we need an input too. Okay. So is there an input too? Fluid drain, high pressure pipe, power tank fluid outlet, high pressure input. There we are, output and input. So we need, ooh, that looks expensive. None no, reasonably so for our current stuff. Okay. I think we. So for that, we need that. And for the intake. Let's see, I'll put. That's the input. Okay, that looks pretty simple enough. And then we'll need our buckets to set the filter. Okay, and do we have any normal pipe in our system left? How about ducks? Item ducks. Leadstone flux ducts, structural ducts. Conduits. We add some conduit. Pressurized fluid conduit. Some more of that going. Still waiting for the fused quartz. It's the first piece. It has to make all that, so it takes a little while. So probably more than we need, but. So there's tank gas, tank, tank, 
Okay. Let's try output. High pressure output. That's funny. Still no. Wonder why we're still waiting on fused quartz. Well, we got enough for now, so I'll worry about that later. High pressure output. We'll order two of those because it's basically the same thing reversed. So there's our output. And then there's our high pressure intake. Okay. I've never used this mod before, so hopefully this will go well. So let's see here. First thing I want to do is get this guy going. Okay, so that's the input. Get a bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. There's a bucket. Rapidly running out of buckets. You can go away and you can go away and you can go away and you can go away. Okay, that should take care of it for the moment. Okay, so that's now set for oil only. We'll get our high pressure pipe here. That's right, I can't uh, get under there because that's the railroad track. Oops. Ooh, that one I can actually jump up from. That's good to know. Okay, now we can run in here. And I should be able to put my high my high pressure output right on top here. We'll have to rotate it. Oops. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was the mysterious crashing that I've been told you was happening. So let's go ahead and finish putting power down here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. You're not power. Okay, power. I 
Actually, let's go ahead and put our power here and here. Okay. And then we'll use our normal pipes. You go there. We want to set this for oil. Whoops. Oil. And then we'll put our refinery right there. Get our pipes. Let's go ahead and unhook this side. It doesn't hurt anything, but for aesthetic purposes. Okay. And now we have a working refinery. How many more of these do I want? That is the question. Let's make it three. Okay, let's go and build two more refineries. Refineries. Two more, please. We never did get our other fused quartz. They went in the system for some reason. Strange. Did we run out of glass again? Yep, out of glass again. We'll have to finish making the glass. Go ahead and get this one started. Boom. And boom. And then boom. And we're going to set these to in only. Just to be on the safe side. go ahead and go down here and we're going to put another pressure pipe right here Oop. Oh, not two just one bad pressure pipe and we're going to need another high pressure in and out and throw you uh, into the system there, Mr. Oil Bucket. And let's order another bucket. Bucket. Okay, so we have the third one there. Two more of those. Throw them in up here. And then here. Mix 
some more of those. And then we need high pressure output. One, two. So one high pressure output. And then we reverse these. get an input. So the first thing we're going to want is the input and a bucket. Put you down. There are pipes here. Okay, we'll get a bucket here. Bucket. Ooh, can I get a bucket out of there? That's a good question. I don't know that there's a way for me to get a bucket out of there. Well, that's depressing. Hmm. So let's go ahead make ourselves a tank. I should have a tank anyway. Portable tank. Oh, wrong portable tank. For some reason the tank rendering just completely locks up the system. It doesn't like any eye at all. So uh, let's see. Well, I know what it is so let's go ahead and just get a piece of copper. And four pieces of glass. Might as well order a little extra glass while we're at it. If I remember right, it's just a piece of copper surrounded by glass like this. Yep. And that is the portable tank from Thermal Expansion. Need one more glass. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this down. And then we'll have to configure that. Not how to configure it. So extract, auto extract, whoops, not never active, always active. Okay, now I should be able to get my bucket of fuel. So I can put down my input. Okay, then I should be able to shift click. Whoops. Come back here. Should be able to shift click it. No, it's not shift click normal click. Why do I keep 
shift clicking. So it's now set to gasoline. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And put this here and this here. And then right click this. And then we just need to go ahead and click on that. Always extract. And this one, extract, always. Put one of our pipes here. And boop. Boop. OK. Now, we need a tank. So you've seen me do a tank before, so I'm going to make the tank off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and ran more pipe over here. And this pressure pipe, you can run it any which way you want. You can run it in loops. You can do whatever it want. It will pretty much behave itself. So let's go ahead and set that there. Get out our bucket. Right click, and then we should be able to put down our pressure pipes. And connect those. And go ahead and set that to extract, always. And if we look in here, we should see we're getting fuel. Yay! Which is actually one of the things on our quest we had to do is we had to set up a well and a refinery. And I got a, I think I'm going to use this fuel to run a diesel generator. In our power plant, so. Because I'm going to need some significant additional power for spawning mobs if I'm going to set up a mob spawner. Let's go check how our bees are doing. Yeah, must have got a, some mutation in our bees. I should be putting frames in here. and But that means I have to get seed oil production going, which I don't have yet. So maybe I'll make a tank here and do seed oil next. I don't know that I need that much seed oil. But uh, for now, let's go see how the generators are doing. And I sort of liked it. I tried a new style of roof where I basically just put... Uh, block covers on top for my roof with the block covered glass which I apparently missed one that explains why I had an extra oh oh okay I didn't I messed this one up extract there we go and they actually extract pretty quick, so. And fill pretty quick. So we should be in good shape. If I need more production, we'll worry about that later. But like ultimately, I'm probably going to produce biofuel in this room, which actually may not be big enough. <laughs> now that I think about it. So. Bioproduction may have to be another room. I think I'm going to put a generator right here. Move those. I think it's a 3 by 5 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. Yep. 
So next time we'll get a generator going. I don't know if I'll have enough fuel to run it for any length of time. We may have to dramatically increase our number of uh, refineries filling this. But we'll see. And it looks like our tank's still full, so hopefully that well doesn't exhaust anytime soon. And I think we'll call it an episode at this point. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike's fine, but please leave a comment saying why you dislike the episode. As always, this is Fighty1958 and have fun Minecrafting.